Question 19 it says work out an estimate for the number of cyclists who took more than 105 minutes to finish the race. So the easiest thing to do here is let's just put a line in at 105. So what we're actually trying to work out is we're trying to work out how many cyclists are in here. So we know that that is 15. Now, we need to look at this piece of information down here. Seven cyclists took 80 minutes or less to finish the race. Seven. And that's 10. Now, when we deal with histograms, whenever you've got a histogram in front of you, you should always write down frequency density equals frequency over class width. So here, we know the frequency, we know the class width. So therefore, this density here must be 0 0.77 divided by 10. Now that allows me to read this figure off, which is 1.2. So now we can answer our question, because the frequency density is 1.2 and the class width is 15. So if I rearrange this, the frequency equals class width multiplied by frequency density. So 1.2 multiplied by 15 equals 18. So there must be 18 in this section. Now part two, explain why your answer to the first part is only an estimate. Well, it's group data. We don't know how they're spread. Grouped data. Now, group saying just saying group data should be enough really. Like we don't know how the cyclists are spread. The uh, all the cyclists in this section, they might all be in, in here. All, right. all we know is that we have a number of cyclists from 100 to 120. They could all be in there. They could all be in here. Right? So they could be a little bit more. They could be less. But based on the information that we have, it's the best guess that we can take. And it's because we've got grouped data. We don't know the spread. So maybe we'll add another keyword in there. We don't know the spread. Right? We're assuming a uniform spread.